It's just not enough. That is the message from the Austin Police Association warning city leaders they need to hire more officers. The city is working on public safety budgets right now, and police and fire members worry their departments will not get enough money to solve their most pressing problems. Investigative reporter Jody Barr takes an in-depth look at the issues the city's firefighters and police are facing right now. There are many things Austin police pride themselves on doing well, but maintaining what this department has done is getting harder. We're not only short of officers, we're extremely short of detectives, so we need to add. Ken Cassidy represents the department's sworn officers. He says APD needs 100 more officers on the streets right now to begin turning this department from a reactive police force into a more proactive one. We've had the same amount of people doing the same job for the last three years, and probably the, the growth of the, of the city has grown exponentially by thousands. APD's budget proposal is asking the city to fund 1,908 sworn officer positions. It's the same number the city approved last year, and even fewer than the 1,931 positions the city approved in 2015. More people are moving to Austin every day, and Cassidy says APD is not keeping up with the population. One thing the citizens don't need to worry about is firefighters showing up at their at their at their door when they're called. Austin Fire Association President Bob Nix says his department has enough people to fully staff each shift. The problem is many of those firefighters are working double shifts. City records show AFDs only added 62 fire positions in the last five years, while Austin's populations continue to grow. That's led to taxpayers paying $71 million in AFD overtime just last year. And many firefighters, Nick says, are feeling the pain of multiple shifts. But all they're really trying to do is fill in to make sure that, that when, when that alarm goes off, the firefighters will show up on your doorstep and solve your problem. At some point, it doesn't matter if you're making more money. You just don't want to leave your family. You're tired from the last shift. You don't want to go in. Well, we also looked at the budgets over the last five years for Austin police and fire. APD's budget has risen 42% from $283 million in 2012 to a projected $403 million for the coming fiscal year. AFD's budget climbed 32% since 2012 with fire expecting to spend $196 million in the next 12 months. City Council will make the final call on these staffing numbers, Shannon, but neither department we spoke with today expect much of a change when the city passes its citywide budget later this month. All right, Jody, thank you very much. You. In May, KXAN found employees of the Austin Fire Department raked in the most overtime of all city departments. They racked up nearly 1 million hours in OT since 2005. AFD told us the problem was not enough applicants, mass retirement, and a union contract that allows overtime even if they've taken vacation in the same pay period. Last month, a city audit showed hundreds of firefighters were calling in sick on the weekends, forcing last minute fill-ins and causing more overtime. To see how the fire department compares to other city departments when it comes to overtime, go to KXAN.com and click on the Investigates tab.